Woo! The five month fiesta. Fiesta, yeah, I always get fiesta and siesta confused. This isn't the five month nap. This is the, the five month party. So <clears throat> this is just gonna be a Sorry, a bunch of dust on my thingy. This is just gonna be a uh, an update type video. Uh, everything in terms of the streak, everything in terms of the health is going well. Still no smoking, drinking, blah, 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 blah. Uh, doing some kind of exercise every day, working on the comedy stuff every day. Um, today, I wanna talk about the dreaded P word, plateau. The plateaus of life. Um, so a plateau, for those who don't know, is in the technical terms, it's a mountain range that's totally flat on top. And in exercise terms, in life terms, it's basically a flat line in progress. So those who have been around here on this thingy, journey thingy, since the beginning, you know, might remember the first two weeks I did this, boom, down seven pounds, boom, down seven pounds. Bah, next week down three, bah, you know, just fucking, I just couldn't, I couldn't keep weight if I, you know, wanted to. Like, it was just ridiculous. And uh, so the last couple months, these update videos have been dedicated to me going for the, the 10 reps of the 225, the two-wheeling bench. And before that, there was a change in shift, and uh, the shift of my work had changed in, like, mindset. I was kind of just down in the dumps and tired of it and all that stuff. And uh, since then, I've put in a bunch of work. I've read a bunch of quotes, articles, philosophies, all kinds of stuff, really just getting serious about shifting my mindset and um, really just um, enjoying the moment, uh, enjoying the present, um, uh, which, you know, it's a hard, it's a hard thing to do. And a lot of those were a lot of the quotes I read just about how hard it is. People always, you know, want more or are caught up in the past and it's really hard to just be present. So I've been focusing more on that. And uh, it's been it's been helping in a lot of different ways. But something that's happened over the past couple months, uh, I've been stuck at the 308 number two plus months, two and a half months. Um. So a bunch of a bunch of things about that. So first of all, uh, it's correct from your position, the viewer, to always have a healthy skepticism of what you see on the internet, of, from people. It's totally a normal thing. Uh, it, it might just jump into people's mind like, well, clearly not sticking with it. Clearly something's going on in the background. Clearly you're cheating here, cheating there. Maybe how do we know you're doing all this? Blah, blah, blah. Um, so I get to speak on this from my position, which is where I know I'm doing everything right. So, um, in my mind with perfect information, I get to speak as if that's the truth because it is. Um, also, from your perspective, uh, those who have been following along for a long time, um, the previous year, I was always very honest and transparent about the ups and downs and the flaws and when I was doing things and when I wasn't. Uh, so I really, you know, in all likelihood, every there's, al there's always a chance somebody's lying, but mathematically, there's not much reason for me to be honest in the past and not be honest now. Um, so with that out of the way, the next uh, kind of thing is the same thing everybody has been telling me. Well, you're working out, and I, I have uh, ramped up how much time I'm weightlifting. You know, I'm weightlifting five, six days a week, so muscle definitely has something to do with it. I've kind of looked it up. Um, the best information I can find is like you're not going to be gaining more than two to four for beginners pounds of muscle a month, one to two pounds of muscle a month for advanced. I'm probably intermediate. I'm probably not a beginner anymore. I've been doing this for years now, but I'm also probably not advanced. Got a long way to go. So it's really just the mental thing. Like it's hard to put in as much work as I'm putting in to do these brutal two hour, three hour, four hour uh, weightlifting sessions to be running which I hate to be uh, trying to be more to stick with the intermittent fasting to be disciplined with the diet and not see the see nothing like not not just like not let forget seeing the results I want to see like still looking in the you know not 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 being where I want to be ultimately but also just seeing nothing um, in poker since 
theoretically this is a, a poker channel ultimately um you'd think i'd be more prepared for this you know there's I've, not only have i talked about it before how consistency is king and just you can't worry about the number and this is exactly why i said at the start i don't want to weigh myself because i get way too uh overhyped and uh, caught up in it but in poker there's variance uh you can do everything right and still lose mathematically. You know, you can have the best hand, but the right, the wrong cards could come and you still lose and losing streaks happen to everybody. And it's a common thing when you're analyzing these losing streaks to get in this mindset to of like, well, am I just getting unlucky or am I playing bad? And usually the answer is both. Usually you're getting unlucky, which leads to you acting emotional or irrational, which leads to you trying to instead of focusing on playing well you're focusing on getting even or wanting to win your money back and that might lead to you making suboptimal plays and so you end up doing things you wouldn't normally do which feeds into the losing streak and it just keeps going round and round and there's kind of a similar thing going on here it's like well am is is crazy life shit just happening am i just is this just par for the course and i'm gaining muscle while losing some weight and getting healthier or are there things i could be doing better and so, you know, I looked at it and uh, the answer is probably both. Um, it's probably just a, just a lull. It's probably just something that consistency will work through if I just keep pushing through it. And looking at everything, you know, <laughs> I probably like the weight loss, all that stuff, like you hear it all the time, exercising, weightlifting, all that stuff is good for like building muscle. But when you see results, it's mostly with diet and there are times I would, you know, send, I'm still sticking with the fasting thing. It's all the same, no sugar, only drinking water. That Nothing's changed in that department. But I would Snapchat the meals to, you know, my buddy that I would send. And like, you know, he's a, he's a dude, you know, you can put down some food, you know, he's, you know, he's a, he's a guy. And uh, he would see my meals and be like, damn, dude, you know, <laughs> like, it's a, a lot of food and like yeah a lot of it's salad and a lot of it's like meat and protein but then there would also be like you know the chow mein and the rice and some sandwiches and shit and ultimately you know like i said i just decided i'm working too hard to not to be stuck like this and so i just decided to 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 clean it up a little bit um so we went to i went to reno for a week stuck Stuck with everything there, didn't drink, didn't party, and all that shit that I wanted to do. Um, when I got back, now it's pretty much, it's salad, and I cut up chicken breast and put it in there, salad, and then uh, vegetables and some protein, but I pretty much cut all the carbs. And I don't do the rest day anymore. It's just kind of all either weightlifting or cardio of some form. And I've been on that for about three weeks, and I just so happened to have hit the scale yesterday so I'll get to that in a minute, um, but yeah, you know, it's just the the part that's more concerning is just how I'll just I'll just tell you I was three oh six yesterday. So um, basically, the breakdown when I started, you, I don't need to repeat the whole story. You know, I started three thirty at the start of last year. I got down to like the two eighties. Some personal life shit happened. I didn't have the foundations in place. I gained most of it back. Um, retooled not gonna let those uh the personal life decisions you know not let how well or bad things are going with uh, women affect my mental state and so i started this year at 320 and so as of yesterday uh the today's five months down 14 pounds and if over that two and a half months or whatever i've gained let's say, let's just say conservatively, I've gained four or five pounds of muscle, then that means I'm, when you look at it like that, I'm averaging, if, if, if that's the muscle I've gained, then I'm probably in terms of like fat loss and weight loss, I'm probably averaging somewhere around a, a pound a week, which is healthy and which is where you want to be. So like, I'm much more concerned with how like, I was really not, I was going to feel really bad if um if i got on the scale and it still said 308 which is the more concerning part to me um it didn't it, it's not going to change anything in terms of like this is why this is why things are set up the way they are why i always preach consistency and you know the long-term mentality because 
it wasn't gonna get me to quit like i'm i'm fucking in this thing like i'm like i have mentioned before like i'm getting through this as if you know humanity depended on it there's nothing that's gonna fucking stop me but those plateaus they can just fuck with your head man they really can uh even somebody who's experienced in all this shit like me you know it just like without any context if i said that to you guys or i said that to somebody you know working out every day all these brutal hours for two and a half months and you see no progress you know it's like that's the thing that's cool about weightlifting and getting into shape like when you're a beginner when you're a beginner you get all this immediate fucking like you gain muscle so fast you lose weight so fast at the start like your body craves it and then it just gets harder and harder and if you just tell somebody like two and a half months and you're not gonna see a fucking thing like it's hard for most people to 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 get through that to to push through that and so that's why like you your focus just has to be on consistency gradual improvement and fuck the rest just fuck the rest because it'll fuck with you it'll bring you down it'll get you to quit like you just you have to you, that's what you have to focus on so that's what i'm gonna keep doing i'm gonna stick with the improved diet thing i'm so what i've done i've allowed myself the, the weeks i'm at work one day out of the five where I can like I've been using it on carne asada today. I'll have carne asadas with tortillas and then the rest it's uh it's very strict um you know with the with the carbs and everything and hopefully that'll just kind of jump start things and uh yeah it's th these gradual improvements you know like that's that's why I say focus on consistency and then it's so much easier for me to make these small like incremental changes that aren't like drastic and aren't gonna send my brain into a frenzy because it's too much at once um start start with what you can do focus on consistency and that's it and just build it over time and like eventually you'll you'll get tired of where you're at eventually you'll get tired of like okay i've proved that i can do this consistently and now i want to ramp it up and before the trade-off was you know how much fun i'm having versus how much progress i'm seeing and now that trade-off isn't so big um this uh the working the comedy hour the doing this thing every day like i'm working on a video right now and like the hour goes by so fast and like i'm so like excited to like get it up there and i'm like at the point now like i'm where i'm like starting to think like i should probably start you know really bumping this up two hours a day three hours a day four hours a day like or maybe do some hours of youtube and some hours of comedy and like just you know when i started out doing this an hour a day the first month the whole month was just me writing down ideas that i had in my phone and like writing them out and organizing them and typing it out it's so much better to just whatever you want to do if you're in some retail job or some job that you don't like and cars are your thing or some other just start learning about it five minutes a day and do that every day for a year and see see how you feel and then eventually you may be like okay this this is building momentum i want to ramp it up to 10 minutes a day or an hour like whatever just focus on consistency, build it up, just fucking power through it, and eventually um, things will compound. That's I keep waiting for that tipping point. Like I, 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 I think about and talk about like compound interest a lot. Like I'm starting to get more into like investing and wanting to be better with money. I'm gonna wrap this up here soon, but the point is like there'll come a tipping point where all the stuff that you invest in yourself and in all these other things will start to start to compound on themselves and start to really show the results you want you know like eventually yeah i'm stuck in this thing now eventually yeah i'm not living the life i want to live but eventually the investment that i put into myself will start to compound and like as that number starts to go down and things start to get better in other areas it'll start to build on itself and then that will become more motivating and eventually the hope the goal the dream of it will just become this unstoppable force that um that i just need to maintain and that will build on itself with these foundational habits I have placed. One fucking take. How do you like that? Keeping it under 15 minutes. See you at the fucking halfway line next month. <sighs> that felt good. Had to get that out.